Good morning and welcome to Kantipur TV HD. You're watching Kantipur Yoga and in today's episode we have another very fun asana practice which is called Hanuman Asana also known as the split. So split means to take your legs into the side. Now there are two kinds of split. One is a middle split which is a little bit more intense for your hip and uh, back opening and there is something called a side split which is our Hanuman Asana today. Now we're coming into your split first. We come in to our knees first a nice hip opening so hip opening can start with our butterfly pose our asana practice can be here now you can practice ujjayi breathing that means inhaling from your nose into your chest and belly exhaling creating a tiny rumble in your throat as you constrict so throat lie all tight by it as we will create a tiny rumble and exhale out so this is the breath practice we are going to do Breathe through, just warm up the hips. Slowly inhale in, exhale out. You can also tilt your ankles up if you want in your butterfly pose or keep your feet squashed in together flat. Let's hold this here. 10, nine, you can also move up and down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one whenever you're ready moving into your pigeon pose slowly coming in nice and warm up so your pigeon pose let's say we will make it a little bit more dynamic this is very relaxing which we will not do since uh, hanuman asana or the split is halka intense we will open up the leg into the front and warm up your hips and hamstrings so you can do little gentle movements to warm up the body. So when you say warm up the body, that means blood circulation, like your partner target got it as a body. Especially winter time, muscles are a little cold. So you want to give it a good, nice stretch to loosen them up and warm them up. You can open up more if you'd like, or you can stay here. A few deep breaths. You can also go a little front. This works with your hips. You can also come back up. Gentle warm ups. Absolutely do not try a split without moving your muscles before. Workout putsi or stretching putsi. If you want to attempt practicing your split, you can. If not, please avoid going into the asana if you're not sure of your body yet. After a few deep breaths and movement, you will come back into your middle, rot rotate backwards, lean back, come back into the side, take the right leg outside, bring the left leg into the middle and slowly back. Do not feel shy to use your blocks if you need to, that's completely fine. You will also notice your left hip is a little bit more different than your right hip. So left hip matches all the tightness feel on the You may also open up the leg more. Again, you can do a little lower down and up. Deep breaths. So when you stay up here, this is called an active stretch. When you come down here, this is a passive stretch because now you're resting and you're not actually using all your muscles. In a pigeon pose like this that requires more muscle uh, strengthening, your glutes are also working to support your spine. Our split say is always ev everyone's childhood dream to practice. It was also mine. So you can attempt this. This may at least take a few weeks or a few months depending on your flexibility. If you have not been a fitness person beginning the hine, this may be a little bit harder for you to practice, but it's totally possible to do. So you can take your time with your split practice. Give yourself one year at least with regular practice. Six months also can work for you. Whenever you're ready, come back into the middle again, into your butterfly. You will already start feeling your hips open up just a little bit more. Breathe through. Now, if you're focusing on your hips, you also need to focus on your lower back because they, all these muscles are connected. Your hamstrings, your hips and lower back movements will help you open up and go easily into a split. And by easily, I mean you'll be able to slide in until you will not have a little curber with your split over there. Whenever you're ready, we'll lean back onto the back again. Once you're comfortable here, you may also lean, put your hands behind your hips. Take your knees nice and wide, slowly drop down to the floor. 
back up come back up in to the side and in especially when you're practicing your side split you also want to make sure your hip flexors over here are quite active and open and whenever you're ready gently we will lay down to the floor slowly down in now what you're going to do is you're going to gently bring your left knee up or right knee up make good rotations clockwise anti-clockwise your movements are not say ekdam stingy or lazy hone aina you're going to do complete circles keep going now a very active stretch we will keep the left leg straight make sure the heel is pressing down we will take the right leg up now this tightness will create a little trouble in your split so you want to make sure you're loosening up this movement this is your goal to have actively being able to stretch it up straight if your knee looks like this right now that means you need more warm up to do so do more warm ups once you've comfortably over here that means you're a little good to go closer to your splits just a little bit active stretching whenever you're ready let's do the left leg right leg dancer see the left leg comes up let's do the rotations over here clockwise anti clockwise again if you have a few uh, reproductive organ health issues or lower abdomen surgeries ulcers etc please consult with your doctor or instructor before you attempt <sighs> clockwise anti clockwise loosen up then comfortably straight now mero se left khuta ma MCL terza that means the meniscus terza here yeah? so i will not force my knee to do more than it's comfortable with it takes horneo if you force your muscle more than needed you will have pain and injuries and that's not a part of our yoga practice also if you have a ACL tear avoid that complete straightening or complete locking So notice my left leg this is my maximum range of motion now my right leg this is my maximum range of motion so do you see the difference that just one muscle can cause so you want to make sure you're not forcing anything that you are not comfortable with and whenever you're ready gently lean over come back up we will do another forward fold So you come up seated onto your mat slowly take your legs outside just a little bit bend in forward inhale come up exhale bend forward and drop down breathe through you will breathe through inhale exhale lean in lean out you can go side to side this is mainly topic of calf muscles and hamstrings ko lai you can also go to side to side hips like sway go there and so Now slowly coming up one step into your splits a little bit deeper come down onto your knees you will extend your right leg into the front only keep your blocks ready next to you okay so you will need your blocks now so you want to bring them in over here now you will slowly lean in take your knee back अब तब को पछाड़ी को नी में डिस्कम्फर्ट यू कैन फोल्ड अ ब्लैंकेट और अ शॉल एंड यू कैन प्लेस इट अंडर नीथ योर नी दैट इज फाइन इफ योर नी इज फाइन दैन जस्ट गो फॉर इट या स्लोली बेंड इन जेंटली बेंड बैक ना दिस इज अ हाफ स्प्लिट दिस आसन इज कॉल्ड अ हाफ स्प्लिट ना दिस विल हेल्प यू काइंड ऑफ गेट अ लिटल आइडिया अबाउट हाउ अ फुल स्प्लिट वुड फील लाइक because now this will help you stretch out the exact muscle that would be used in your full split ab jatti you can bring your chest in towards your thigh tetti body stretch on so now when you take watch my heels if you take your heel away from you and you bring your chest and shoulders down this intensifies the stretch and that is your goal to stretch these muscles out in particular lay around pulsating movements is great now that your knee is locked see my knee this is a soft knee this is a locked knee now once your knee is locked you want to be very careful of your knee and not make sudden jerk movements be very slow bend come back in very slowly straighten 
come in bend gently back out stay there at least five deep breaths okay let's try this come back in over here bend downward five nice long deep breaths Now breathing will help you ease your pain and ease into the asana. That's why in yoga breathing is very important. Whenever you're ready, let's try the left side. Take your right leg behind gently. Now bring your left leg forward into the same lunge. Hold this here. Inhale in. Exhale to the front. Gently back out again. Now once you once you open up your world to spirits, there's kati, very creative asanas you can practice. In your flows, you can practice multiple ways. This will help you later on. So if your goal is to do a split, it will also open up your asana practice to a lot of different poses again. Standing, seated, laying down. Whenever you're ready, we will do at least 10 on each side. Now we will attempt the split. So how you do this? <sighs> Take your time, whenever you're comfortable, you will slowly again bring your right knee into the front. Now what you'll do, be, uh, beginners, kalai, two things. The body or block can stay here and you can slowly come in again or you can make your gorilla fist and stay there and try this. So let's try it with the gorilla fist first. I will put the blocks on the side. So we come down onto the gorilla fist. Now if you're a woman and the knee is digging into your chest, ca causing discomfort, so now there is a little place for you to relax, yeah? Whenever you're ready again, curl your toes into the front. Comfortably, walk your toes in here. Now this should be your beginner level hold. This is what a split looks like in the beginning as you're comfortable also make sure the pasari ko khutta is able to go just a little bit behind onto your ankles and knees and slowly you will reach one point after which you cannot crawl your toes anymore what you will do is you will take your heels and now you'll start to push your heels down gently coming in and relax here beginning pose might say your split may look like this after warming up you may be able to come down lower and lower and lower and then finally reach over here now once you reach over here if it's too painful gently coming back up now your mat bends so it's fine slowly come back in what you can do is now you can take your block you can place it right below the pelvis or your hip now you may slowly again form your gorilla fist now use this bent mat this is a good thing use your bent mat and now slowly try and come down now this is your split if you want to adjust yourself, you can adjust them at again and come back in to your split. Here you are. This is your split. Gently breathe through. Now, if you want to play around in your split more, heel like push karne, toes like straight rakne. Gently bring your chest down. You can chill out over here. Breathe through. Slowly you may drop your head down here, reach for your toes. Come up here, inhale, exhale. This is your split. Whenever you're ready and you're okay to get up, you might want to curl your toes behind, palms back down to the floor. Slowly lift and now gently pull that leg up in towards. Now slowly, block is bend the Take the block out. Now gently bend the knee, crawl back. Take this leg over here, relax it. Now that I mentioned that my left leg has a ligament tear, what we will do is we will make sure how we assist on this. So if you are like me and you have a little knee injury, you want to be a little bit more careful than anybody else. So what you'll do is once you come up into your tabletop again, we will now slowly use our blocks. So if you have a knee injury, please use your blocks, don't avoid the block. If you do not have a block, use a brick. If you do not have a brick, use a cushion. You will now slowly bring the left leg forward. 
I would say now that you know my left leg is a little bit more because of the tear. One, because my left leg is a little Second is because it will not go even if I try because of my tear and the knee weakness. So what you're going to practice now is bistare coming down in comfortably. Then you're going to stop and not push further from there, okay? So you're going to gently come into your pull. Take your leg behind. If you think you need to warm up a little bit more, feel free to warm up a little bit more. That's fine. Now very gently you'll try and come down lower. Take your time. Now this is the max that I can push for my knee. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a block and I'm going to see which setting works for my hips the most. Now this works for me the most. So I'm going to sit and I'm going to chill out here. This is my split on my left leg. My right leg looked so much better. The left leg is like this and that's okay. Whenever you're ready, slowly come back up, curl that toe, gently pull the knee back. Again, if this happens, it's fine. Slowly relax the knee, starting to bend it. Now you'll gently lift, push the floor away from you. Gently bend the knee and lift back. Pull that leg in. If that happens, it's fine. Just push your mat back again. Now that was your split practice now you can go in as many times as you want you can also try a split against the wall so how many doing for forward folding garsam so you will come in over here make sure you're using the blocks here yeah? okay so for our standing split what you're going to do make sure you're using the block now standing split collides say you do not have to worry so much about your knees because you can do this against a wall. So, bita ko chuma gorni, ki the door ko arch mapan gorna means sir, you can do this. You can also ask somebody to hold your kutta up. That can also work for you. So, what you can do is you can come up pile into your forward fold. Now, forward fold, I'm not there. So, gorni sa kesam. So, you can also refer back to that episode if you want, or you can just learn again over here while we do it. Now use your blocks here first. I will start with my right knee, okay? So I will keep my right leg down. I will take my left leg. Bistari balance karne boila. Your balance my comfortable boys lagya pachi. Chai, we will slowly start to extend that leg mathi. Va bita sa bane chai, adze sa jilo huncha. Because now you're able to push the body weight up onto the bita and this khutta will be up against the wall. See that mathi. And what you're going to do is see the gap in between your hands and chest. Now gently come up and hold here. This is your standing split. Bita sa bane se, adze siddha unza. Hal kaya bangi ra sa bane se, you can come back into the middle again and keep it up straight. Now jati you go and decrease the gap in between. Deti deti garo hundai zansa. Gently come back down. If I had a wall over here, I could have shown you much better, but I do not. So you're going to have to visualize that happening with the pita. So what happens is the leg that you see is up over here. You can rest this leg onto the wall. So if this is my leg that is up in the air, I can place it on the wall here and then slowly start to push my leg up straight. Now, since you're playing with gravity, gravity ko base mat, say you're trying to work with the gravity, what you're going to do is when you push your chest into your thighs just a little bit more, you're going to take the leg up towards the wall. Now if you want to practice splits, starting with the wall split is much easy. So you're going to do a forward fold first, then take one leg up to the wall, and then push your leg up in the wall, and then you're going to practice staying there for a little bit. This is very nice and intense. You can also put your leg up onto a stool or a chair. Make sure the chair could have wheels nose. So you can take your leg up onto the chair also, do a pigeon pose, then slowly start to straighten. There are different creative ways you can practice a split. It's not compulsory to do it down on the floor. The yoga world is slowly changing and there are more acceptance of more modifications, more variations and a lot of body types and yoga can be done by everybody. So even though I'm a yoga instructor, I have a knee pull, right? So you can practice a different variation for your leg. Maybe your right hand is more strong. So you can focus on that a little bit more and not worry about the left side so much, yeah? We can keep practicing, keep getting better. One day may not be the same, other day may be better. 
and this much it is stress karne i know this is just asana practice you are going to enjoy yoga and not stress out about it so i hope you can able to do your splits you will say overnight hone kura hoy na so you will take some days you will take few weeks you may take a few months i personally took 9 months to be able to do a split completely and as upon i still sometimes i need a deeper warm up and i need a deeper a uh, stretch before i attempt to do my split so if you are thinking this is going to happen overnight that is not going to happen you're going to have to practice a lot of times about your kura to keep in mind this when you're practicing your split every day se practice karne hai na because your hamstrings and hips also need rest rest is as important as your movement and exercise so you're going to do this at least 2 to 3 times a week if reaching a split or the hanuman asana is your goal so at least 2 to 3 times a week and otherwise say so you're going to rest and give those muscles a little calm down chill rest time So I hope you enjoyed and you learned a few things about your Hanuman Asana and you've experienced even a half split or a gentle split in today's episode. You will see me again tomorrow with another episode. Thank you so much. Have a nice day ahead.